This is a first year Model 700 made in 1962. Uh, this is a 7mm Remington mag cartridge, uh, which also was introduced with the Model 700 in 1962. This barrel is a 23 inch barrel. Remington eventually standardized on the barrel length at 24. Uh, it has a stainless steel barrel that has been copper plated and then blued over, so you've got the blue appearance on the barrel, but you don't want to try to re-blue one of these barrels. If you polish that blue and copper off, then you got a stainless steel barrel that won't, won't take a blue, but the stainless steel gives at least a little bit of extra wear resistance, and most, most people think the stainless barrel lasts longer than the regular chrome molly barrels. The stock, the checkering is impressed checkering. The, this style Remington used from 62 to 68. And, and then some of the near guns have machine cut checkering, which is more similar to hand cut checkering than the impressed checkering. You can see this checkering pattern here on the pistol grip and on the side of the rifle. My French is not that good, but this is referred to as the Fleur de Lis type checkering pattern. Uh, originally, a lot of people didn't like the impressed checkering, but uh, it's got that nostalgic look to it now that it's been nearly 40 years since that particular style was used. So this is, this is a neat collectible in that it's still all original. The Magnums come with a recoil pad. and. Uh, Got a good American-made scope on top of it, and uh, one of my son-in-laws is the proud owner of this rifle now. The safety is very similar on this rifle as it was the 721 we looked at. They were still using the bolt lock safety uh, when this model was made, so if you're on safe, the bolt's locked. I, I like that feature, but for people that are less experienced, it's nice to have the other safety where you can unload the rifle with it on safe. Uh, another advantage of having this floor plate is you can, you can open it up and unload the rifle from the bottom as well. So the ADL doesn't have the floor plate, but the BDL models and CDL models do. This particular 700, I originally bought at a gun show uh, became interested in it, of course, when I saw the features of the early gun, but then when I realized it was a first-year gun and managed to get the rifle at the right price, and uh, now I've got a son-in-law that'll, that'll be able to use this rifle. It'll, it'll last a lifetime. So.